So this is part three of the investigation into the Chiliad mystery and the Altris camp being the area that needs to start the process of completing the Chiliad mystery, guys. Everything suggests that this is the area that needs to be concentrated on and this is the area where we see there will be a change. Now what we do find guys is at a certain hour there seems to be a certain hour that is going to kick off the completion of the Chiliad mystery and that hour seems between 7 and 9 so it's 8 o'clock. Now as you see we know Franklin can complete the Altrus camp, the Altrus shootout. We know Michael can although it's not normal it can be done with them. Is that the clue and as we see around 8 o'clock these flags seem to turn blue. As you see if you look at them from a certain angle the whole sky turns a very strong blue like is hinted in the doomsday murals and we know these flags turn blue and you think well what's the blue all about well if you think about it who is blue it's going to be michael michael is a blue character in the series of Grand theft auto 5 this bush here we don't think it means anything guys it's just a glitch you can see this on the very first level but look at this here check this out this seems to be something more now it's just a blue flower but it's the only set of blue flowers in the area and when you look at them actual type of flowers there's actually a lot more behind them which seems to suggest that this shootout should be completed at a certain time and with a certain character so if you go around here there's some bags but once we completed the altruist camp and there was something more than bags guys we completed the altruist shootout and there was something more happened just here just check this out see what you think grand theft auto 5 is all about money in the actual logo, the V logo, you have like a reptile, like reptilian type pattern. And it's really known that the pattern comes from money, the $100 bill. There's supposed to be a lot that's connected to the $100 bill and the Chiliad mystery. You can look into that, guys. And this is what we found. After we completed the Altruist shootout on one occasion, there was a bundle of money down here. Now, remember, no civilians are usually in the Altruist camp. It can happen sometimes, but not during the shootout. In fact, the game clears the area, makes sure that the leader is alive and only the altruists are in here during the shootout. But yet, this is what we found after a shootout. $100 bill. The very sign that is linked to the Chiliad mystery spiderwebs. Now, in real life, guys, the $100 bill is designed in deep secrecy and surroundings of the illuminati or the illuminati have either copied that or the hundred dollar bill designers have copied the illuminati it remains open to a huge debate but is very clear to see so if you get a hundred dollar bill you will see the spider webs in the background that are on the gta 5 mural they're right next to the mural guys they're also down at Polito bay could it mean to complete from top to bottom the mural it has something to do with the hundred dollar bill so then we go to gta 5 the v has reptilian type design on it in the logo again the reptilian type design comes from the hundred dollar bill grand theft auto 5 is designed around one new mechanic that others were not strongly designed around and that is money so is it said that we need to get a certain amount of money, but who needs to do it? Who has links to the altruist? It's Trevor, but it's Michael because we see the blue flowers. We know Michael is one of the main protagonists and I know there's three, but the main area that surrounds the whole of the Chiliad mystery and the alien seems to be Michael. The links seem to be Michael. So we thought, what happens if you bring Michael here? Is there something we need to do with Michael at the Altruist camp? Does Michael need to complete it? When we completed the shootout and that hundred dollar bill turned up, we couldn't find no connection. Is the connection to earn a certain amount of money and then complete the game? Hence the assassination missions where you earn money and you bet on the stock market and you bet against the stock market and for and then you create the circle and the perfect storm to earn yourself a huge amount of money so is that possibly what it's saying or is it saying bring michael to the altruist camp at a certain time at a certain day now we know now from all our research guys that we've been doing with you over the last few weeks that there's three main things that we know about the altruist camp it has something to do with peyotes the whole chiliad mystery and the altruist camp did you see that flash guys that is what we happened when we took michael there if you rewind there you'll see just a flash just a glitch 
just a glitch, just a random glitch that I've never seen before in all the times that I've completed the Altruist camp, over 100 probably. I've never seen that glitch, that flash. Bear in mind, if you go back to the start of the video, that flash was in the exact area where they said we found the spectrometer. Was that the spectrometer trying to spawn some kind of glitch happened that tried to spawn it or the game was just not happy with something there? Because that's the usual way it happens when an asset is loaded and the game's not happy with it for some reason. It was usually a glitch like that. Now, it's just a coincidence, but it's between the hours of 2 and 3 a.m. The day obviously matters, so you could come here yourself with Michael at 2 and 3 and it might do nothing. It then, we know, could be the moon phase. We've also got to look at that. Everything's suggesting from the Doomsday murals that there is a lot more left over. What it's suggesting is the Altruist camp is everything. We have got the purple mural. We've shown you in the last video that the leader has the eye patch on that's from the purple mural. The girl that we took in the last video has the spider tattoo on her, is it her back, I'm not sure, but she has a spider tattoo. On the purple mural, you'll see a key which is on the spider tattoo. The key that also looks like the phone book. So you've got the phone book type thing that's in the spider's tattoo, the symbol, which means key. We know the spider has eight legs, which is linked to the infinity eight. We found in our last video that the master's wearing the eye patch in the purple mural. So we've got the spider, the eye patch. The spider has red in the middle on the tattoo. We're not sure why. Well, I think I know why, guys. We can all agree the purple mural is the unresolved mural. It's psychology. We just don't know which way to go. And now we see that this spider has a red key. What's red? Maze Bank, of course. Invest in the red. It's in your interest. When we know one mission that timed changed and warned us that it was going wrong monkey business it said come back another time something's not right when we blew that or when we carried it out against its own wishes the game's wishes guys what, we then America noticed all the posters changed right all the posters America. said you've balls it up of... you've maze balls you've balls it up so the posters actually changed after that mission and warned us that we've messed up the gameplay. Is it that mission? Is it something to do with money? We've got the spider webs linking to money. We've got GTA 5 linking to money. We've got the 5 logo linking to money. It all seems to be about money and psychology and it all comes back to, is it the Altruist camp? Or is it possibly something else? We can agree it's psychology, we can agree that the psychologist is involved. Why then is the altruist eye patch on an altruist leader, as you've seen in our previous video we found, guys? What has that got to do with the psychologist? His eye? Or the altruist eye? So we reckon there's a lot more to try out here at the altruist camp. With Michael, with Franklin, to see where we go from here. But we can certainly say... The spider, the Illuminati, the dollars, the money, it all comes back to money. GTA 5's missing Chiliad mystery link is money. We know the Altruist camp, when you clear it, has money. So we thought we'd do as much as we can at the Altruist camp. So since we know, Michael's the one who met the aliens. Michael's the one who's heavily involved in getting the money and keeping it. Of course, he's got the big house, the big car. He is the only one who was concentrating on one goal through every fight that all the players were doing. They all had their own personal vendettas, fights, traits. His was one goal. It was the almighty dollar and the dollar bill and nothing more. We are now here with the right moon sequence, guys. And then we find, well, there's something that changed with the web at a certain sequence. But we can't get into that now, guys. We're going to have to look further into that and get into that in another video because it goes so far, you will be mind blown by what has been found with the webs, which, of course, signify the dollar bill, 
which signifies the psychology, the purple muriel, and it all comes back to the altruist. So we can agree on three things, I think, guys. The dollar bills has some huge significance that is not understood. Psychology, we know, is the missing link because the purple mural is the one we can all agree is unresolved. And the whole psychology and combination comes back to here. What is the sequence events needed? What time, what day, what calendar, what month to activate something different? Of course, we know that when we looked at the start and we seen the code, you might not have understood that, but basically there was two variations of which way the code can go here at the Altruist camp. One was it goes as standard, the other one was version A, version B, the other one was version B, and it had 1000 in there. Of course, 1000 is a Chiliad. So is it possible the missing Chiliad mystery still remains here at the Altruist? When we clear the Altruist, of course, we're left with four packs of money. I think it totals a thousand, a hundred thousand. Everything's coming back to the one. It's always ones and zeros, zeros and ones. We've been talking about the hundred dollar bill when it's the one dollar bill. But the hundred dollar bill, you find the same sequence and you find the same webs. You don't find the exact same shapes, but you do find the same sequencing. We can agree that GTA 5 was all about dollars, all about money. The logo says it, everything says it. Of course, we also have things like, we have the basic, where you fold a one dollar bill, I believe, or it's a hundred, and you get an alien face, and that alien face is duality from left to right, so it's really a duplicated image from left and right. They're the images you find all over the GTA 5 world, guys. All you do is, Go on to internal view, it's a lot easier. And just go and look at something and you'll see basically an alien type god, Detty God, we call them, Detty God image. And it's well known. And it was basically the Hauser Brothers way of building in Illuminati into the game. Now people say Illuminati can't be solved, but the Chiliad mystery can be solved. Has it been solved? No. Can it be solved? Yes. Was Illuminati solved? Yes. You can decipher the one dollar bill, you can see Illuminati all over it. Is it Illuminati or is it just the artist's way of saying we're going to bring in some real cool secrets? Well, it's the same thing, isn't it? Secrets inbuilt into something is Illuminati because it's all about breaking it down and saying it's something more than what it is at face value. So what we know now is the GTA 5 story has gone way beyond its face value of being a story of free crooked criminals. Anybody who sees that is just looking at what they think they see on the face. The real truth is there's a lot of deep underlying secrets and they all surround it and come together by one thing. It is money. So why would the Chiliad mystery be any different? It wouldn't. And it's not. So of course we know snow has been a huge deep factor within the mysteries of the GTA 5 series. The snow is hidden so much because it is the most difficult weather system to get. So we recommend spawning that and trying something. And that's what we're going to do here, guys. We're just going to let this play out a few and see. Some have said that you can hear the Yeti, Bigfoot, the Beast, howling. I don't think it's the beast. I think it's more the Yeti and the Bigfoot. You can hear howling during the snow in the Altruist camp. If you listen, turn up your sound now. I'll leave it go quiet. Leave it play through, guys. Some say you can hear a Yeti howling through the winds like you would in the Antarctic, for instance. So listen now. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Do you think there's more links to be found? Do you even believe in the Chiliad Mystery? Chiliad Mystery, of course, is a so-called name for a secret and hidden mysteries that remain in GTA 5. And believe me when I say they do remain in GTA 5. The mystery was never solved. It was just misunderstood. It was tangled webs. Of course, Nazar told you that it was tangled webs. Your webs are tangled. You need to untangle them, come back, and think on the basics, guys. Psychology and money, they're the two ways we need to be looking. With that being said guys, I'd like to know what you think in the comments. Which way do you think you go? 
I'll let this play out, see if you can discover anything in this play. This is a unique play, of course. The moon is right. The time is right. We've had Michael here. We've had Trevor here. And now we've got Epsilon Michael. And if you don't know, guys, Epsilon Michael holds a lot more secrets yet remain to be resolved in the GTA 5 series. And I think that is something you guys can look to uncovering. What is so special about Michael? What are the secret traits that you have missed that Michael offers you? Because I think if you go back and look towards Michael, think psychology, think of the abilities he's got that have been misunderstood or not unearthed correctly, and go in search of what he can only uncover. So if this video has helped you out in any way, given you some ideas, some ways you can think that you can forward Michael's mystery hunt and resolve that purple mural finally, I'd much appreciate your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you think there's some other avenues that need exploring or if you've got some ideas now that you reckon you can run with and solve this final remaining part of the mystery that should blow open the whole of the unresolved secrets of Chiliad. Till next time, this is True Star signing out.